Welcome back to Going Gear, guys. We're so excited to see you. As you can see, we're here to stay. I told you guys we are back on the YouTube grind because every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, you will have a video in your subscription box. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe and also press that like button. We're gonna be reviewing flashlights, reviewing knives, cool EDC stuff, and we're gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways too. So it's another day, it's another video. So if you're all wondering why I have a mustache now, uh, we saw a Maverick and my wife was like, oh my gosh, Rooster's mustache, you should try that. And so uh, you guys can now call me, my new Top Gun name is Skyscraper. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm, I'm seven foot one, so Skyscraper's my... I couldn't even fit in a jet now that I think about it. We're reviewing our best-selling flashlights at Going Gear. Which one do you want? Let's see. So when reviewing these flashlights, we'll go all the way from the smallest one right here to the big mama jamma right here. This, this guy is real... I almost knocked myself out. This thing is like a medieval mace. You can just... Ow! All right. Sorry, let's get into the reviews. <laughs> so when it comes to the Teeny 2, uh, the max output is 500 lumens, and how you do that is you just hold the top button right here. That will do 500 lumens, and then it actually tells you how long you can do that for. So for this, it'd be 10 minutes. Usually it's 15 minutes, it's, this is just not charged all the way. And then from the bottom, we have the regular lumens, which is one, 15, 65, and 200. And then like I said, if you hold it, you get that 500. This is a perfect keychain light if you are looking for a small keychain light, because this one will definitely be small and easy to use for you. It has a two times Osram P8 LED. The peak beam distance is 97 yards. It has 2000 Candela and it's IP54 uh, water rated and it has an impact resistance of one meter. This guy is the smallest, most compact and it packs a punch. The next light we have is the Tip 2. This is one of the bigger keychain ones as you can see, but a cool thing about it is it comes with this sheath that actually has a clip on the back of it. So you uh, can carry that in your pocket as well if you think it's too big for your keychain, so that's awesome. And as for this one, we have the buttons on the side. Um, and this has a turbo mode, high mode, and mid, low, mid and low mode. So that's 720 lumens, which is, to turn it on, you hold it. And then to do the max lumens, you hold the top button and you blind your camera. <laughs> That's 720 lumens and that runs at 15 minutes. And then obviously to get the other modes, you just tap it and it goes from 720 all the way down to one lumen, which runs for 55 hours on this guy, one lumen. It has a peak beam distance of 101 yards, uh, 2160 candela, and it's actually IP67 water rated. It has an impact resistance of one meter, um, and it has a total, like I said, of 720 lumens, and it is a Cree XP G3 S3 LED. TIPSE, so this is a lot like this one that we showed a second ago, but for a good analogy to have for this one is, if so if you're looking at the TIP and the TIP2, which was this one, this is the Grand Touring, the TIP is a sporty coupe, and then this guy is a sports car with both power and sleek frame. Tip SE's dual LED doubles the power of the 700 lumens while maintaining the compact size and stylish design of the original TIP, or TIP, I don't know why I'm saying, I'm sorry for saying TIP over and over. <laughs> Translates into over 100 yards of throw and illumination from a thumb-sized keychain light. It has a two times Osram P8. The maximum brightness is a bright 700 lumens. Um, and you do that by pressing the top button. And then you can also scroll through the different modes uh, using the top button as well. Nightcore makes it pretty easy to do the flashlight modes. I know a lot of different companies make it hard to actually use the flashlight. Uh, this is not the case for this. It's just you turn it on and then you can go through the modes or you just hold it, 700 lumens, your max lumens. And then it has a uh, beam distance of 98 yards, 2,100 candela, IP54 water rated, and an impact resistance of one meter. So you can drop it. You can, you can throw it down if you want. You can throw it off the Empire State Building and it'll be good. And that's a lie. And last but not least, we have the Mac Daddy. This is a big boy. This is the Nightcore T4K, and this is known as the world's brightest keychain EDC flashlight. So to turn it on, it obviously has that lock mode, and so you double tap, unlock it, and then you're starting at one lumen. And then you go up 15, 65, 200, and then back to one. But if you hold this, you get 
4,000 lumens of brightness and it actually has a timer that appears on the screen right here. So once that timer runs out, the light goes back down a little bit more to reserve the battery. But if you need it, you can always go back to it. My favorite part about this light is it has the screen right here that whatever mode you're in, it's going to tell you how long you can be in that mode. So 65 and like I said, these aren't charged all the way. So these times are a little bit off. The max turbo mode can last for a 10 second burst and then the 200 lumen high mode can last for 2 hours 45 minutes, 65 lumens can go to 7 hours, 15 lumens 21 hours and 1 lumen at 67 hours. So this is a great flashlight, it's a chunky boy, it has an impact resistance of 1 meter, it has 10,900 candela and it has a maximum beam distance of 228 yards and the LEDs inside are four Cree XP L2 V6 LEDs. So this guy is an absolute tank. I don't know if I would personally carry this on my keychain considering it's like, it's a pretty big, like this is my uh, Protec right here. It's like almost as big as my knife. So, or if you look at the Protec Malibu or let's see, we have the gold class Crooked River here. It's a big light. So. That's when I would take this into account and use the pocket clip. Actually, this one is a metal pocket carry clip, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so if I were you, I would carry this in my pocket. Or if you love, if you have big keys, use this. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, Going Gear is here to stay. So if you don't want us here, then get out of here. If you do, stay, please. Uh, if you want, if you don't want us here, please stay as well. You know, it's, maybe we can become friends. We're really excited to get this YouTube back up and running. Um, Marshall's shoes are, I would say, unfillable. Um, <laughs> even though I'm a big guy, I can fit a lot of me into a shoe. It's not enough to fill Marshall's shoe because he really started something brand new here on YouTube and he built this community of you amazing people about flashlights and all that stuff. And it, it's, he will never be replaced, but I will do my best and us at Going Gear will do our best to honor him and what he started and continue it. We're gonna continue his legacy, continue building this community and uh, continue making awesome videos for you guys. Like I said, every Friday and Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So be sure you like this video, comment below which flashlight is your favorite and uh, as always, stay sharp, stay bright and we'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know why I do that. I think I'm gonna end the videos like that. Is that weird? Probably is.